KDKA. Remembering our friend Fred Hansberger. News Radio 1020 KDKA. Joe, thank you. I'm honored to have known you and worked with you all for so many years. The honor is mine, Joe. You are a uh, good man, but the best tomato grower I know. Uh, Next to Colin McNichol over at the the Tribune Review, who used to work at UPI. So I used to talk with at 3 o'clock every morning when I come in to do the news for John Cigna. But uh, you, you you are a great guy, and I, I really do cherish your friendship. Fred, talking to Joe Grata, man, he spent many phone calls with. You're listening to News Radio 1020 KDKA. Larry Richard with Mike Pintech, remembering our friend and colleague, Fred Hansberger. I, I'm looking at our dollar bank the access messages here. I'm not trying to figure this one out. Uh, Larry and Plum writes, Rest in peace, Fred. I know you are in a better place, as death is not a punishment. My condolences to Luke the Chihuahua guard dog and all who love him. Okay, he's got me on that one. Fred's dog. That was Fred had a. a, a that, see now, that's part I didn't realize. I didn't know. I never heard him talk about it. You don't have a dog, do you? I do not have a dog. I have cats. If you have a dog, you would know others' dogs. If you don't, then yeah, you don't. That's that's pay probably. I know. That. I know more people who have cats than have dogs. We are. <laughs> We've been inundated with uh, instant access, uh, the Dollar Bank instant access, and phone calls, obviously, people on our website, kdkradio.com, and Fred's Facebook. Uh, Fred, we talked about being the innovator, first guy I ever knew that used email, first guy to have his own website before it predated the radio station. Oh, yeah, station. yeah, yeah. He said, oh, this is going to be the future. Yeah. And then same thing with Facebook and the latest was Twitter. He yeah, I remember he did we, it all. we were trying to talk talk the uh, talk the management into get you know having a website. Fred already had his. All right, let's go to Dot in Westview. You're on News Radio 1020 KDKA. I saw this. This is Dot, and uh, I offer my condolences to his wife and family and all KDKA. We appreciate that, Dot, and yeah, it's very difficult uh, for the family. Obviously, Chris, this time of year, especially with Christmas and. Yeah, your your heart just bleeds for them, especially. Let's go to Doug in Pleasant Hills. You're on KDKA. Hey, good afternoon, guys. So sorry to hear this news about Fred. What a great guy. Um, terrific uh, response uh, listeners would have to him. And I, I think it, it you know, brings up like the bigger picture of how important radio is to so many people and that you can actually connect with somebody so closely who you've never met. Uh, and, so, and that's why I think it's, it's sad at times that there's less and less local radio. Well, that's an excellent point, Doug, because there have been many over the years that predicted the demise of radio, and the reverse is actually true. More people get their news, and especially news talk, because you're really, and Mike, you know this, you're really only talking to one person. To listen to this kind of radio, you're listening for the content. It's not background, per se. And And you can reach an individual, and they feel... You're talking and, to them. Yeah, and there's a personal relationship that people develop with, with a host, and, and uh, often it is a love-hate relationship. And I, I always tell people that, that in order to be a good talk host or a great talk host, you have to develop that kind of relationship, and Fred developed that relationship. That and was, when, when I talked to my mom and, and years ago to my, my grandmother, who's since passed away, and they talked about how they connected to people on the radio. Reach Cordic leave in town, you know, was a disaster for mm-hmm. a lot of people, you know, that sort of thing. And he didn't pass away. He just moved on. But it, it's so important to so many people to have that person that every day they're in the house. They're there for breakfast or lunch or dinner every every day with them. Right. And so I, it, that it, thing, you make that connection. It's true. And, and Fred, Fred had did that. his voice, the sound of his voice screamed home to a lot of people. It's home. It's it's Pittsburgh. It's it's KDKA. It was just part of the everyday routine, even when you're yelling at the radio saying, Fred, you're crazy. And, and Fred always was prepared. He knew his issues. Yes, he did. He, he knew his stuff. And that's why sometimes <laughs> you listen to radio hosts, and my, my gosh, he doesn't know what he's talking about. But Fred would come on the air, and if he got into a heated discussion with somebody, he knew his stuff. I mean, he really knew it, and it wasn't just uh, just on Grant. Well, prepared. but on the other hand, we used sometimes, I used to tell him sometimes, Fred, you don't know what you're talking about. You know, so <laughs> yeah. he, he was always prepared. I he wish. He didn't necessarily know what he was talking I about. I wish I would have <laughs> taped some of the inner office battles that oh, I've witnessed my myself. Let me tell you, know, uh, I, I Thanks, want, Doug. Can I just go back to when when uh, Fred was at KDKA, uh, and, and in 1982 I joined KDKA at Fred's urging. Fred actually coached me to come to KDKA. And after I got here, we were both doing the news, and we were almost inseparable. I mean, we would go out in the car and uh, to, you know, to cover stories together sometimes. 
And, and, and people don't know, and I just found out today in the past hour that Fred was your best man when you got married. Yeah, I, I'm no longer married, but uh, it, yeah, that, that was back uh, nice. Well, that is, it's not Fred's no, fault. No, no, it's not. Well, maybe it was. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, he was he was my best man. Not, no, hardly anybody. I didn't know that. that. I worked well, with you for whole 20 years. Well, it wasn't. I mean, it's not not something that generally came up. But Fred and I go way back. I mean, we we uh, worked in Harrisburg together. And my first uh, when I first met Fred, the first thing we did, he was going to be my new boss at this radio station. So Fred says, well, let's go get to know each other. Let's go out to eat. So I'm figured, oh, we're going to go out to a you know, nice restaurant. We end up at Wendy's in Harrisburg. So we finish. Uh, did he you know, buy? Uh, I think he did, yeah. My, my recollection was he did, yeah. And so we're eating our burgers and our fries, and we're finished. And, and as I always do, I have this habit of chewing on ice. So Hansberg, he looks at me. He says, what are you doing? I said, I'm chewing on ice. He says, you know what that means. I said, what are you talking about? With a totally straight face. I said, what are you talking about? He says, well, you know, psychologists have written about this. <laughs> written about what, Fred? You know, I just met this guy for the first time. He's my. He says, you know, uh, people who, uh, psychologists say the people who chew on ice are, are sexually frustrated. And he had me going until finally he let me off the hook on that. But that was his, that was his sense of humor. Let's go to Walt in Somerset. You're on KDKA. Guys, I just got into the car and turned the radio on. I've, and I, when I hear this shocking news, uh, it saddens me for, for his family and for all of Pittsburgh because, once again, we've, we've lost another iconic figure of Pittsburgh. Um, I, I never had the chance to meet Fred personally. Uh, I've talked to him countless times. Um, he's complimented a lot of people. And my favorite thing of Fred was when he called somebody a moron. And he said, <laughs> see, you see what I'm talking about? This is what, exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. It's uncomfortable. When you're listening sometimes, but you couldn't turn it off yeah, because it's compelling. You couldn't wait to hear what would happen next. But my, but besides that, I mean, I'd sit there and, and I, I agreed with him on a lot of points. I've had very few disagreements with him, uh, none that he would never hear me call, say to him because I never could get through to call. Uh, but when he called somebody a moron, I just would sit back and cheer because I just – I was using a few other explicit terms for the callers, but um, he was tax, tactful, graceful, and will be surely missed. Well, we appreciate your thoughts on News Radio 1020 KDKA. Back with a lot more. Larry Richard with Mike Pintech, remembering Fred Hansberger. Remembering 